okay so in the last class we have started our discussion on uh, one of the technique of parsing called as bottom up parsing okay the idea was creation we in this technique we create the parse tree in a bottom up fashion we create the leaf nodes first and then gradually create the intermediate and finally the root node which is the starting non terminal okay now we have also seen an example how we actually create this parse tree in a bottom up parser okay now today we'll uh, discuss on uh, we'll discuss further on this bottom up parser so there are mainly two categories so the entire bottom up parser can be categorized into two parts okay one category of bottom up parser is called as lr parser okay here l l means what l means i read the input string from left to right okay from left to right and r means i use the rightmost derivation that means what at any stage of my analysis parsing analysis what i do i always attack the rightmost non terminal okay there is also another kind of so today we will discuss mainly on lr parser okay and uh, i will discuss later on another category of bottom up parser called as operator precedence parser so let us precedence parser so so in lr parser the the main action that we perform while doing the parsing is called as sift and reduce and that is why this lr parser is also called as sift reduce parser okay why it is called as sift reduce parser because the main parsing action involves two functions one is called sift and another is called reduce i will tell you what exactly the sift and reduce means before that let me go through some notations so suppose i have an input string so suppose a plus b minus c okay now this is my input string and at any stage of my parsing i i divide this sequence of terminals and non terminals into two categories okay so suppose i represent it as a a b c d okay now so so, so this is my input sequence okay this is not exact not input sequence this is a sequence of terminals and non terminals where i have used something called as a marker okay so my sequence has two parts where the rightmost part is the unanalyzed string okay unanalyzed string this means what this means this this portion has not yet been analyzed by the parser and hence in the bottom of parser it will represent only the set of terminals string sequence of terminals okay whereas the left hand side of the marker is half is analyzed string that means the parser has do done some processing over this uh, strings and hence 
it is a sequence of terminals and non terminals understood so at any point of time the state of the parser is represented as a string of terminals and non terminals with a marker in between such that the right hand side of this string represents the unanalyzed portion of the input string and the left hand side of this string represents the analyzed portion of the string which contains some terminals as well as non terminals understood so the job of this parsing shift reduce parsing means what either i so suppose a so suppose so the so the shift reduce parsing involves what one is called shift action this means you move the marker to the right move the marker one place to the right this is my shift action and reduce means do some reduction what do you mean by reduction that means you decrease the size of the input string okay by doing some analysis i will let you know what this analysis is you reduce the input string by a single non terminal okay so we do some reduction okay so let me elaborate this shift and reduce action further so suppose at any point of time my parser state represents the input sequence represents that sequence as a b c okay which are all non terminals and in the right hand side i have x y z and i apply shift then what will be my parser state my parser state will be a b c x will come to the left of the mark and the marker will move one place to the right and will y z okay now suppose so in reduce what we do so suppose i have a production in the grammar that is d as c x okay and i see that in the left most in the right most portion of the left substring okay so in this left substring the right most portion portion has c x so what i do i reduce this cx by d and that is called as inverse production okay so so in reduce so what it becomes so if i apply a reduce by the production d as cx my parser state will be a b d y z understood so so my reduce action involves apply inverse production so this is called as inverse production production means what even a non terminal we can apply the rightmost thing we can substitute the rightmost portion by the leftmost non terminal okay for the leftmost non terminal i can substitute by the rightmost products okay sequence now inverse of the production means for the rightmost sequence i can substitute the rightmost sequence by the leftmost non terminal okay apply inverse production at the right end of the left substring understood so let us see this example earlier example okay so i have so let me write it down i have e as t plus e or t so the start phrase so i have the grammar e as t plus e ok 
ओके और टी एंड टी एस वॉट टी एस इंट इन टू टी और इंट और ई ओके सो इंट इन टू टी और इंट और ई ओके सो दिस इज दिस वॉज माई ग्रामर सो नो लेट एस ट्राई टू परफॉर्म पार्सिंग बॉटम ऑफ पार्सिंग बाई अप्लाइंग दिस शिफ्ट एंड रिड्यूस ओके तो सपोज आई हैव द सेम थिंग इंट इन टू इंट प्लस इंट ओके आई विल अप्लाई शिफ्ट एंड द मार्कर सो इनिशियली द मार्कर इज इन द लेफ्ट मोस्ट पर्सन and the entire input string is in the right most part is unanalyzed because the parser has not yet analyzed anything so so the input string is in the right most right most portion of the marker okay so i perform one shift and i get so let me okay, let me write it like this so i i do a shift and what i reach i reaches int int plus int okay then i do another shift okay shift let me write it here so another shift and i reach here what int into marker is here int plus int understood then i again perform another shift i found is int into int the marker then and plus int okay then what i do is i reduce the reduce by applying t as int okay so on reduction what what will be the parser state so it will just substitute the right most portion of the left sequence okay so it will substitute it by capital t so it will be int into capital t okay plus int understood then it will further reduce by the production int into t understood so it will substitute it by t or plus int understood then it will perform one shift action okay it will be t plus int another shift action will be t plus int t okay it cannot perform any further shift then uh, we apply the reduce function okay for by taking the production int as t as int okay so it will become so let me uh, get it here okay so i have t so after the reduction i apply the production t as int so so t it will become t plus t and the marker is in the right hand side then i again apply the production reduce reduce with the production e as t okay then it will become t plus e okay then again reduce with the production e as t plus e and finally it will become e okay so th so this way the the lr parser or uh, performs bottom of parsing by invoking two main functions called as shift and reduce shift and reduce now how when we decide to take shift and when we decide to take reduce i will discuss it later in the next class but just remember that 
by doing shift and reduce thing ultimately we are reaching at the starting symbol starting non terminal okay if we do not reach at the starting non terminal that means this input sequence is not as per the grammar okay and hence while doing this shift and reduce so while doing this reduction we create the power string okay so so whenever we are i am doing a reduction i am just moving the things and creating the power string understood okay we'll discuss it in the next part